Al-Qaeda and ISIS have been perfecting and testing bombs small enough to fit into a laptop and get past airport scanners. This is all according to top U.S. intelligence officials. And that information is what prompted the electronics ban issued last week for airlines operating out of eight countries across the Middle East and North Africa, all bound for the U.S. The United Kingdom, you may recall, soon followed suit. CBS News transportation correspondent Chris Van Cleve in our Washington bureau now. Chris, just elaborate more on here. How were they exactly testing this? Well, we understand that uh, according to this new intelligence, there is at least uh, some reason to believe that these terror groups have been using airport security scanners to test their test and perfect their explosives. They've somehow obtained uh, the technology that we see in airports. Uh, and are using that as part of their process to fine tune this bomb that could fit inside a laptop or inside other handheld technology. Uh, and it is that concern that not only are they developing this bomb, that, but that uh, it appears uh, that there's intelligence that suggests that they are in fact using security devices to test it that prompted this ban on laptops. And Chris, tell us more about these security, you know, these scanning um, devices that they're using. Not exactly new equipment, right? Right. So the airport uh, carry-on scanner that you walk by when you get on a flight is that generation of the technology is coming up at about 10 years old and really it's based on an x-ray machine it, you put the bag in they x-ray it uh, so that is not uh, necessarily new groundbreaking technology the scanners that TSA uses to check uh, to check the checked bags, that's based on CT scanner technology. It's far more advanced and gives a much more detailed picture of the contents. And in fact, TSA is, is going to start a pilot project later this year looking at the carry-on bag version of that CT scanning technology to see if that works better uh, for carry-on bags as well. But right now, an X-ray scanner is an X-ray scanner, and that, that is not really new technology. Well, this news certainly is something that puts you back on your heels for sure. How do we know um, how investigators, how government officials learned about this? What kind of intelligence did they discover? Well, we know that this has been an ongoing process. This intelligence has been gathered over time. Uh, and certainly a lot of concern came up with a laptop-based bomb that was used to punch a hole in a Somali airliner last year. Now, that plane was able to land safely because of when the explosive was detonated as the plane was climbing. Uh, but that started to raise a lot of concern. You also had uh, the downing, apparent downing of an Egypt air jet and a metro jet, a Russian airliner, in Egypt. Um, so there's been a, a steady collection of intelligence. We also know that there was some supporting uh, intelligence gathered in that raid in Yemen in January where a Navy SEAL was killed. Uh, the ban, we understand, was not prompted by that raid, but by the preponderance of the information to include at, at least enough um, details to lead intelligence officials to be concerned that, that there is a device that um, an explosive device that could be put inside a laptop and potentially missed by airport scanners. With this new information that you that you learned today, Chris, has the Department of Homeland Security or the TSA responded? Yeah, in a statement to CBS News this evening, the Department of Homeland Security uh, did tell us that there continues to be threats against aviation, particularly uh, efforts to smuggle explosives onto planes. So, uh, you know, while they're not commenting directly on the report, they are acknowledging that aviation remains a real target and uh, that to include people trying to smuggle devices on. And that has been a big concern for the TSA for years, that somebody would get a bomb past the security and get it onto a plane. All right, Chris Van Cleef, thanks for clarifying all of this for us tonight. We do appreciate it. Sure thing.